people from the outside world. It's your host, Neil here from the Swatch Commentaries, aka Queer Sun Gaming. And today, I'll re this live commentary video is about a guy that, you know what, it's not a guy. It's just some commentary video. I'm just gonna discuss some things about <coughs> here, son. Sick right now, and I have some low resolution, um, really low FPS game of CS:GO with bots. I'm too lazy to like play with, with play with like real stuff people. So here I am being a knob in CS:GO. So a lot of you has been doing this challenge called the Corn Challenge which actually is originated from China, but since people from China can't really upload from you to YouTube, then I have saw it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I don't really want to put my account out there. Yeah. Jesus Christ, the voice. Jesus Christ, the voice. <laughs> but... <coughs> they actually... Three and I'm still dying from cancer. Maybe they are I've been watching videos on how to put your braces on or CSGO unboxing knives. Uh, that does not, that, that still relates into like drilling yourself in the corner. Uh, that was a long, damn, cringe inducing moment. I'll be honest, I'll be here to admit that I still do a lot of worse things today. But things then have since been very mild, fortunately. Anyways, greetings I say to you all, my name is Captain Fluency here back again with another 2020 video. It's not another, but it's the first. You heard me right, an upload on Valentine's Day. God, I wish I had someone to go with this Valentine's, oh my god, I'm so lonely. Here making another video about the things that I don't really want to be in when I'm thinking of something. These are cringy videos. As you may have guessed from the intro itself and of the title itself, I'm going to review a set of them again. I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit dark. I didn't use so much of it. the um, ring light over here. It's it's not even working. See, see, my whole face like <clears throat> still dark even when it's like um point blank at me. Anyways, let's go on to the next video on our list over here. We are going to watch me play a geography test. Hey guys, today I will be GG easing a test, a world's capitals test. It was, I found it in the internet, I was surfing the web. And why not making a video out of it except like my commentary videos, like um, I made commentary videos. My commentary video, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to try to actually complete this test so 196 nations and earth. Okay, this will take a lot over more than you know an hour so let me give me my thoughts Andorra uh, I haven't even started to face it <laughs> so <laughs> the capital um, here oh my God. Antara, I, I used to love to swear actually what? Thai. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right Thai. now. I'm going to tell you guys it's going to be very boring since I don't really talk most of the time here in this geography test that I was going to take So we'll be watching She tries to kill me with this NEM 1911 pistol So we're going to watch another old video of mine Which is a commentary video Just literally me commenting on this one kid Who I didn't particularly like back then He was kind of a socialist communist And he probably or most probably doesn't even know what he's talking about Kids like 10, he might be like 13 or 12 by the time I'm making this video the literal description just says kill me. This video has just become the try not to cringe at yourself challenge. These intros man, Jesus Christ, I, I used to create many of them. 
Hey guys, it's your favorite random stereotypical Asian boy here. So anyways, today's topic is gonna be a unique one because this philosopher, yeah, I made that one up. He didn't actually, he said he was a philosopher. Cenable is going numb nuts about our society and hopes to make it the Marxist creation number one. You might be asking, what would that be? Of, of course, it's not fucking democracy. What are you, fucking gay? Of course, it's the old-fashioned <laughs> communism. More on this kid. He is a goddamn atheist and a lazy old bastard whose channel doesn't even had a single knowledge or intellect by his parents. So unlike those cringy Minecraft seven-year-olds who make videos about... Well, for, for f sake, you already know that. This kid's gonna be like, f*** it, it's time to search shit on the internet and pretend I that I support that and just take over the world or whatever. Good point, good point. And good it point. worked! His We Need Communism video has like 600 or 7,000 views and also reviewed by the YouTubers like Lieutenant Corbis and No Fuckers. So today, I'm going to be making my own unbiased review on this video. God, do I have to do this? God, please kill me. Hey guys, your old pal Cinnable here. Just after the kid takes a long excessive breath, we know the knowledge on this kid already. We know his knowledge on the excessive use of Minecraft and the use of communism in that game. Like, you drop items to share to other people and... You know, this, this kid... He's the coolest, baddest, fucking raddest man in the whole fucking entire world. I wanna make a video about why, to this day, after the time in history when when it was founded, we still need communism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ideally this kid has been reformed, all right. After our dosage and use of the internet, we can really conclude that the kid is Stalin and Lenin's great grandson. When he needs to go to school. He's always absent and the parents' reasoning is always Oh my kid is always outside saving himself <laughs> And the sk school's principal be like Oh you know, fair enough, fair enough You might be, you know, reforming some shit And the thing that he's actually reforming He's shitting on the home of the brave and saying that they should change their ways Into their enemy's ideology Like that shit's gonna fly <laughs> Uh, now, for any of you who don't know, communism is the idea of a nation sharing the wealth. Hold on there, they don't just share their wealth, they share their houses, lots, and lands to the people who needs them, and also shit if they really want to. But they also give people a chance that they have their special abil abilities like to fight, to like... Snake them, snake them. Like, like Ivan Dragos. Like, he's actually, like, <laughs> you know the rest. He is chosen as your representative of the country and he has special talents to represent the country. Yes, sorry if you actually disagree with my opinion here, but communism is actually a great idea. Don't, don't, don't. No, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, shut the fuck up. That does not work because people are really shitty, you know. We have people like Stalin, we have people like Mao Chatung. They send people to gulags. And while some people call it distributing, um, if I were to ever start a country with a communist government, wink, wink, wait 12 years. Have you ever seen any perfect communist country in the whole existence of the entire world and if you say how about the soviet union let's look at the full name union of soviet socialist republics short then the ussr look at the word socialist and how about china you'll be surprised that its full name is the people's republic of china and they have a communist government with some capitalist rules. And note, these countries have survived a hundred years. Well, not actually a hundred years for China. It's like 75 years and the USSR have sur has survived almost a century of existence in the entire world. And they never even fully 
pledged communism to their country at all not even if you would say if it's because of their bigness they're really large to actually distribute some of them might even have fascism parties just hiding around their mount their mountains in the himalayas and siberia and the ural mountains well you're actually wrong it will take another 12 years for to make that shit happen so it's not really gonna fly because you're not gonna wait a hundred years and make your stupid fucking time machine and see how your country would go in the next fucking years um the rest of the video is just basically me just explaining some conceptual things that i just literally made up when i'm like 12 years old but believe me some of these things are pretty damn Whoa. And some of the speech that I used here, which is a very long time ago, I still use today. Like some speech skills like sometimes stuttering and <clears throat> thinking while I'm speaking. And I'm making it obvious that I, myself, am thinking while I'm speaking due to my stuttering nature. One like and you'll get your very own free communist gulag. See you in the next video. Not explain why, not explain why, not explain why, not explain why, not explain why. Everything changes. <laughs>